Welcome back to the Event Santa Cruz radio show on KSQD Santa Cruz 90.7. We are here with Casey Beyer. He is the CEO, correct? CEO, the that's CEO correct. of Santa Cruz County Chamber of Commerce. You make the Chamber of Commerce is cool. So, how did you get to this position? Like, what, what was like your background before you became? the CEO of Santa Cruz Chamber of Commerce. Well, first of all, Matthew, thank you for having me on your show. It's oh. always a delight to see you and be with you in the community. Thank you. Uh, I'll try to make this a long story short <laughs> for, for, the, for the benefit of the, of the listeners. I've been in public policy for oh, close to 40 years. Uh, I started and grew up in, in Nevada where my mother was uh, uh, the chief of staff to a U.S. Senator. So I was raised in, in a political world and a political life, and I've worked for elected officials throughout California, Nevada, and in Los Angeles. And when I moved back to Santa Cruz back in 2010, I wanted to give back to the community, and I had the fortunate opportunity of uh, taking over the Santa Cruz County Business Council for a couple of years. Oh, okay. uh, and then the opening for the chamber came about when the longtime uh, CEO of the chamber, Bill Teisling, uh, retired. And they were looking for somebody that had one, uh, some type of policy um, experience and had lo a local knowledge. And that you was me. Yeah. And, um, you know, one thing led to another. And here I am three years later leading a 600 member company. So uh, Robert Singleton, he did he, t he took over your position Correct. at the Business Council, right? Yeah, Robert and I worked together. Uh, yeah. He He's a, a brilliant young man and is yes. doing good work. And it's we partner with the Business Council on many issues because we share the same membership, uh, and it's 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 a like kind of a, a commonality of things that we do in, in the chamber help his company and that help my company. Yeah. Okay. So um, why I had you come in is because recently we because of the coronavirus we've had um, quite a few events that have canceled. Um, you just had an expo that was going to be today, wasn't it? Yeah, it was about to start in Start about a half an hour. Oh of, my goodness! <laughs> and uh, we the the thirty first annual uh, business expo is a, it's like a signature event for the chamber. We've been doing it's it my favorite event that you guys do. Well, thank you. Yeah. It's it's a wonderful networking event. We bring you know the business community, the nonprofit community, and just the community together for a three hour party. Uh, and it's a it lot is. of it's a lot of fun, and uh, it's a lot of work to put it together. Uh, we plan that event um, a year out. Uh, we work with the Seaside Company in the Coconut Grove in booking that facility a year out. And then we do a lot of due diligence of working with the media and, and getting the news out about the event and getting our, our, our member companies to participate. And then with the anticipation that they're going to meet either new clients or new customers and have networking with old clients. And so last Friday, uh, we sat down with my executive committee and we made a decision. Let's take a look and see what, what's happening. Uh, and we're going to, we notified all of the participants that it's a, it's a go for right now, but as things change, we may have to change with the times. And unfortunately, uh, I, my committee, executive committee met on, uh, on yesterday, yesterday morning, okay. and the consensus of the committee and my recommendation is to uh, postpone the event. Uh, not cancel it. That's, I think that's very important. It's postponed. It's a postpone the event. Yeah. And we went back to the, our uh, participants and let them know, you know, because of the urgency and, and the coronavirus crisis and how we're dealing with it, that in the best interest of the health and public safety of our community, that it was the right thing to do. And we're finding that our members understand. Uh, they're grateful for us being for doing the due diligence. And uh, they're looking forward to participating when it's a safe environment. I think people really are supportive of that decision. Um, no, we had to just can't, um, postpone as well the next days. And um, I get so many emails of like, thank you, thank you for your concern. You know, because you could have just kept on going. It's not mandatory that you not have this event, but you're concerned for the safety and you know, well-being of the community. Well, you know, uh, I'm, a, I'm a public servant at heart. I've been doing that most of my life. And I always find uh, that the most important thing is to try to do the right thing. And so often in politics and in, in, in issues, and even in business, uh, that the priority of the business person or the elected official or the public person is doing what's right for them. And uh, I evaluated this and I said, you know, the risk reward is so so wrong out of, out of, out of context yeah. here that we wanted to honor the community by recognizing the, the, the uh, sincerity of this issue. 
um, and we postponed it. We're working with the uh, Coconut Grove to come up with a, an alternative date that works for us and them, and we'll, we'll be back in play soon. We will, for sure. Okay, so that's, you know, that's in the past right now. We'll have a great one coming up whenever it's, you know, rescheduled. But you do have an awesome event coming up really soon. Okay, and that is, um, when is that? It's May... May 16th. What's happening May 16th? Okay, thank you for uh, letting me do a little promo for the Chamber's uh, second annual Forks, Corks, and Kegs event uh, at the uh, Kaiser Arena on May 16th on a Saturday afternoon. We're going to gather with a number of uh, food vendors, uh, wine and beer uh, participants, live music, and uh, just have a, a fun party for three and a half hours on a Saturday afternoon. Uh, this came about uh, last year when uh, our, uh, our board got together and said, we should do something fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, the ideas were kicked around, and, and for many years there, there had been kind of on and off uh, a wine festival in Santa Cruz. The Capitola Wine Festival yeah. is famous and does a great thing. The, the Scotts Valley uh, Wine and Beer Festival, another wonderful event. So we said, why not do something in downtown Santa Cruz? And we first time we had about four, 450 people show up on an afternoon. Uh, and it was a really lively, fun, inter entertaining uh, 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 evening or afternoon. And we're hoping to do it again on May 16th. I love the name. Forks, Corks, and Kegs. That is a cool name. Yeah, one of our uh, board members came up with the idea, and, and it just kind of stuck, and so uh, it works. It, it works. <laughs> yeah. So wait, just so I get a, an idea, of what happens? So you buy a ticket, you got you go to Kaiser in a permanent arena, and go and there's like you buy the food. Do you like it tasting? What how does it work? It, it, it's really simple. You buy a ticket for a price, uh, and, and I encourage them to buy in bulk because they're cheaper. If you have family or friends or or your uh, colleagues at business want to go in a group. And you come in and you get a commemorative glass. Okay. Of course, it's a 21 and over event. You get a commemorative glass and you just uh, wine taste, wow. beer taste, and food and enjoy the entertainment uh, for three hours. So, oh my goodness. So it's a one cost ticket. Uh, we find it, it worked really well. Uh, we work with the uh, vendors uh, on an is issue. It's just, look, just bring enough food for 600 people. And they get to participate, and they come, and you know, if they want to man their their uh, their booth or their table for an hour or two, and then have one of their staff go out and mingle around in the community, we encourage that. So, cool. we think it's a fun fun event and something new for the Santa Cruz Chamber. So, how do people find out about it or buy the ticket? Where do they go? They go to SantaCruzChamber.org. You pull down our events page. There's a a, a link to the Forks, Corks, and Keg site. And it'll take you right to the to the event page, and all the information is right there. Awesome. We're always looking for uh, uh, sponsors and uh, vendors. So if you have folks that want to participate in a fun uh, a community event, let me know. Awesome. Okay, I'll put your information on the bottom of this interview so people can find that find out about that. Um, one more question: What's like? What's 2020? I know this is such a, like I didn't even ask. I didn't even prompt you or let you know the question I was going to ask. So thank you for you know going along with me. But what's 2020 look like for the chamber? What, do you have any like, I mean, what's your, your plan for this year? Well, it's a good question. I think with the, the recent coronavirus issue, and I think it's gonna, we're all recalculating. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And if you looked uh, in today, you know, the, the stock market has had its most largest swings up and down ever. Yeah, it's crazy. And so, you know, we, we're, we're not stock market driven here in Santa Cruz County predominantly, uh, but we're driven by the market and, and the human behavior. Uh, we, we kicked off 2020 with a pretty robust budget uh, and uh, uh, the opportunity to do 60 to 70 events in a year. And, it, you know, it's for a two-person staff. I was just going to say, that's pretty amazing. Two-person staff, we have about 25 ambassadors that are members that help out. Uh, and a 25-member board, uh, and all volunteers uh, that push out uh, events for over 600 member companies. When you say you've got two, um, actually two staff, is that including you or you plus two staff? No, it's you, it's me and, and, and you and Jody and, and, jo and Jody Kent's a wonderful woman that does great work for the chamber and our members. That is super cool. No, I think you you've done such a great job with the chamber. It just seems like there's something about it right now that it's like it's on a roll. And there's like excitement, there's enthusiasm about the chamber. So I think you've done a great job. Well, thank you for the compliment. But I think the compliment goes back to the community. Mm -hmm. I mean, this chamber's been around for 130 years. 
That's pretty amazing crazy. to think, and I, I think I look pretty good for 100 years old. Yeah, you're doing, you're doing great. But the point is, is uh, the chamber's always been the uh, the voice of the business community. If you go around the country, the first stop in, in, in for visitors is where's the chamber? Yeah, because they know that's they know the uh, the kind the of the pulse of the community. Yeah. And I think for some time, uh, the chamber had a little lull, uh, as, as organizations do. And when uh, uh, Jody and I came aboard three plus years ago, we had a plan to revitalize it. And I think we're, we're doing a pretty good job. No, definitely. So if you are a business and you want to learn more about the chamber and all the benefits of becoming a, a member of the chamber, where do they go? SantaCruzChamber.org. There's a, a, a pull down on uh, uh, members and it gives you all of the details on the member benefits, the different types of levels of participation. Uh, and we, you know, the, the fascinating thing about uh, this chamber is we have businesses large and small. We have chamber members that have 5,000 employees like Palantronics yeah. and Poly. We have the university and then we have independent uh, consultants that are uh, uh, tax and bookkeepers. So we, we try to... Full uh, gamut. Yeah. Full gamut, right yeah. on. Yeah, no. Well, I think, I mean, I don't know what it is and maybe I'm just like biased, but I think we have some of the most creative, interesting businesses anywhere in the United States right here in Santa Cruz. And I mean, it's from technology to arts to everything. It's like, talk about the gamut. We have some interesting businesses. So that's why I feel like your job must be just super interesting every day to interact with these people. It's fun. It's, uh, it's, it's ne every day is different. Uh, you know, when we go out to recruit or talk to a member or somebody that's interested, we talk about Santa Cruz, uh, the community, uh, and we promote the community and, and just the environment that we live in. And I think that has a drawing effect on people and, 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 and businesses say, wow, if I could live and work in Santa Cruz, what, what would that Score. be like? Yeah. And uh, we try to make that a very comfortable place for them to land. And uh, the chamber is their first voice of, of opportunity here. Great. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Casey Byers, Santa Cruz County Chamber of Commerce. Look forward to Forks and Corks in Santa Cruz, May the 16th. Thank you, Matthew. It's always a great pleasure being on your show. Great. Thank you. Okay. Let's...